All righty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. How do you like it, Jack? show. <laughs> Turn it over. All right, we got actually my very first two by four. Why I haven't built one before? Because I've just never had anybody request one. Got a uh, customer that's a good buddy of mine that requested this two by four right here. <clears throat> and uh, he, he requested two inch transformers on the out. So that's what we went ahead and did. And uh, all metal clad capacitors. He's wanting to lace this thing up with all metal clad capacitors. As you can see, I know a few of y'all seen me using these here in the last couple of builds that I've done, and uh, it just makes the box a better chance of having more longevity. It definitely is overkill, but uh, in my in my world, overkill is not a bad thing. <laughs> I have a fella right now with a, a one driving four candy candy build that he's able to leave that thing keyed up. Doing about 280, 300 bird for a whole hour straight with the metals in there. I don't know if the metals are helping or not, but he's being able to do it. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, of course, I didn't recommend him doing that, but <laughs> I can't stop people using these things the way they're going to use them. But pretty clean little build there. First off, I want to show you, turn the power here. Neat little invert circuit that I'm going to start utilizing on this preamp here. Basically, what this is going to allow, most of your other preamps in, in, in normal builds, you have to have your power switched on first to turn the preamp on. Well, the neat thing about this uh, invert circuit that's utilized inside this <clears throat> preamp is the main issue, the reason why a normal preamp that you don't usually see is because there's nothing to turn that relay off to allow the RF to bypass the preamp and just flow through the box normal. Because you can't put RF in a preamp from the opposite end. So uh, what that invert circuit does is when it, when it see, uh, sees that RF trying to uh, come through the box from your radio, it'll go ahead and literally invert the power. Turning the relay off Temporarily, as long as that RF is sitting on that sensing circuit inside the invert circuit, and then when you let go, it'll come back on. Same thing for sideband. Works for sideband too. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. All right. As you see, the preamp is on. I don't know if you can kind of hear that. I'll do it one more time. My key right now. That's the, that's the actual relay of the preamp turning off. <clears throat> Switching to the off position. And when I let go of the mic and unkey it again, you'll hear it come back on. So that's a nice little invert circuit. I think I'm going to start utilizing them and uh, start using them here on out on each uh, build that I do because I like the idea. Some people like them. I don't personally use preamps myself. But a lot of people do. What this guy does. Alrighty. Yep, that fellow over there, the customer that got this uh, two by four. He's over here just tink tinkering around over here, man. All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and see what this bad boy's doing. We're just going to hit it with the, uh, you could have hooked the uh, bench radio up, but we got it. We got the hot radio hooked up right now. We had the bench radio hooked up and, uh, I'll just let you know it's doing a little bit over 300 watts RMS, about 320. Okay. I got me a new slug to show some uh, some peak. So, all right. We're on the thousand watt slug. Okay, we're on the hundred amp supply on the high tap. Go oh, right there about 410. Here's your voltage drop. Do it's past it's it's throwing that hundred amp supply past its duty cycle. 
this thing is hungry and it wants more. So that's doing about 400, 410 on 14 volts, 14.1 volts. If I could hold that thing at about 16, you can imagine what it'd be doing. All right, we're gonna show the peak. Got me a new uh, 2500 watt bird slug here. All right, go ahead and flip the peak on. All right, we're looking at the very top scale where you see the five, that's 500. The 10 is 1,000. In between that is 12. Do watts I know some people's gonna be disagreeing with that ain't they <laughs> oh you gonna see it from there looking right here in between the 10 and the 15 okay go you see it yep. 1200 watts you happy man extremely I recommend gatekeeper amplifiers for everybody <laughs> well, I appreciate that, pal. If I can just keep up with everything that's coming in. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit this pause button. I'm going to hook this bad boy up on the 200 amp supply over there, which I do not recommend. And we're just going to do a quick burp. Well, I like to call a burp. I'll be back. All right. We got it hooked up on the 200 amp supply over there. I'm just going to do a quick burp. Because, uh,. I know the voltage is gonna be quite high. 100 watt slug RMS. I mean, 1,000 watt slug RMS. Do 500 watts RMS in the cone. All right, y'all. GK 400, two by four. Go ahead and get the lid on here and let him take it home and hope he gets good longevity with it and i'll show the back right there there's the uh back he want to go ahead and roll with a four pin here and uh, i think we're going to be doing a y moat for him anybody want the wireless remotes you can program them yourself now from the outside just for right now they're still 35 dollars a piece for a single 50 dollars for a dual just for right now they're going to be going up because they are worth way more than that wireless don't have to worry about running wires to the front Mr. Gatekeeper out here around northeast end of Georgia. Till the next. Bye, bye, bye.